Hi ladies and gentlemen. This is Willow's Litter week two. So they're two weeks old yesterday. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about each puppy as we go down the collar colors in which they were born. And um, so they're two weeks old. So they received their first dewormer and they have got their nails trimmed. And they're also getting vitamin drops, a puppy multivitamin drop, just to help them keep going. Oh, we got a scratch. Just to help them keep going, give them a little extra boost. And normally I do the talking about each puppy, but because Nixie is no longer with us, I have been focusing on her puppies. And Cammy has been focusing on these babies, so she really knows their personalities a lot better than I do. So we're going to let Cammy start. She's going to do the talking. Normally I do, but she's going to. And the first one is a uh, lavender puppy. He's a silver boy. Go on, Cam. Okay. Um, he's more of one of the ones that kind of just sits there, doesn't really care. Just kind of mellow. Um, he's not terribly pushy. When it comes to dinner time and breakfast time, everyone is, but he's, eh, yeah, pretty mellow, that's all. He's mellow. He's like on a 1 to 10, he's like a 4. 10 being really pushy, hot, 1 being totally just like, nah, I don't care. I sleep my days away. He's a number 4. Okay. And as you can see, he's panting. It's very hot. That's why we have a fan. We have a fan going directly on the puppies in here, but we also have a room air conditioner going. But it is very hot in here, so it's not doing that great of a job. Okay, next puppy is the orange collar. It's a silver boy. That is the moose man. He's the biggest boy. And up here. And as you can see, he is a big big boy. He doesn't have eyeballs now. Yeah, and they are opening their eyes too, but little moose man doesn't have eyeballs yet. Now with him, he is very pushy. Very, I'm going to get what I want. Not aggressively, but you know, he's this old yet. But um, he's definitely one of the ones that will push his way to be the first one to get the food. He's very food oriented. Is it because he's so big that he pushes his way around, or what? Probably. He has a lot of weight behind him, and he's eating my chin. But yeah, he'd be a number seven. Yes. And number seven on the pushy yes. scale? Yes, he's he's loud, and he moves around a lot, and he's very pushy. Very he's good. Very big. He is a big boy. Now understand the personalities are going to change and develop. As but they get more normal puppy and less squirming mass. Okay. Of unopened eyes and closed ears. There you go. The next one we have dark green boy. Oh, uh, it's the blue boy. The blue boy. Now this little boy is taken. His name is Earl. He's got a family waiting for him here in Oregon. Oh. This is little blue boy Earl. He's, I wouldn't say pushy. He's not pushy, but he is very like uh, more playful. of a balanced puppy. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he's the one that's starting to begin and play with the other ones. You'll see him fighting with fighting with the red collar puppy, which is this one. They're the ones that have started the puppy fights and the purring growls and the ferocious puppiness. Very good. He's Very good. good. He's not too much. He's a number five. He's a number five, yeah. He's kind of a sweet boy. Very balanced. Next one Cole? is pink. Sorry. It is a blue Cole. girl. Sorry, hold on. Colas? Get out of the window. Get out of the window. He's looking at the back of our property, which he could be seeing anything. Okay, what am I getting? You're getting a pink, which is a blue girl. Pink 
Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so hot. It's so oh hot. my goodness. Okay. Oh wow, you got a belly. You must have eaten. She's another one of the balanced puppies. She's kind of when everyone else is going mad, going, oh my god, I'm starving to death, even though I ate 20 minutes ago. She's the one just sitting there going, yeah, I'm patient. I'll be here when it's ready. She's very adorable. She just kind of sits there. She has the dopey look of like a airhead. <laughs> She'd be like a number four. Very good. Very good. Very good. Nice balanced puppy. I think would be good for one of our families that's actually adopting two of our puppies. Oh, look at that face. The door. Oh, got eyeballs. Yes. She's one of the ones with eyeballs. The next one is a red collar. It's a silver boy. Yes, one. And what's he like? He's not pushy, but he is very, like, assertive because he's smaller. So he has to be a little more pushy to get a bottle and things on Willow, at least. So he's more assertive. Wouldn't say terribly, like, rah. Like I said, he's also one of the ones that have started playing puppy fights and such. But, uh, Absolutely adorable. Yeah, he'd be like uh, number six. Six? Very good. Very good. Gotta go with the horse scales. Yes. Okay. We have blue. It's a silver boy. He'll just like sit there and watch it. He doesn't care. He'll just spend his days sunning himself all day for all he cares. <laughs> He's very chill, very mellow. Very, you can pick at him and he won't care. Like you can just pull on his ears, play with his ears. Like Willow, just then. He's a boy version of Willow. Woo! As he goes flying backwards. Willow's a very, very balanced dog. She's not aggressive. She's not the alpha. She's not the omega. She's a scaredy cat. She's a scaredy cat. Oh my gosh, we had a stray dog on the property the other day. Steven said she stood on the front deck looking at him like, Oh my God, Daddy, what is it? Make it go away. He's, he's a boy version of Willow. He just doesn't care. You know, he's there. Very nice. Number two. A two? Awesome. The next one is a rust. It's a silver um, boy. He's over there. Just kind of dead in the corner. Nobody would do. Mm. Oh, mister. Let's scrub your tummy for a minute. <laughs> he was sweating in the corner. I think that's pee. That's pee? You think you're licking him? Oh. <laughs> and not finishing. So she cleaned him, licked him, stimulated him to go pee, and then she left him on his own. As you can see, he's pretty docile, not real. He is the mellowest, it's a word now, of a mole. Like, totally number one, just sits in the corner. Not literally the corner, but he just kind of does his own thing. If somebody wants to play with him, he'll just stand there like, really? Really? Are you going to do that? Really? But yeah. He's so kind of just bleh. <laughs> See? He just kind of dangles there. Yes. Has no care in the world. He's just a happy puppy. Yeah, he's just a happy puppy. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we have purple, which is a blue girl. All right, honey, you got to put the puppy down. Um, purple, 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 where is purple? Okay, I'm, don't know where purple is. Ah, purple, purple, okay. 
she's balanced, but kind of plays more on the playful, active side. She's the one running around as much as they can run right now. Just always active, always going, always wants to play, always wants to just bother everyone. <laughs> she also likes using her voice. She's one of the loud ones. Oh, is she the one that'll bark just randomly? Yes. She's the one that will stand there staggering, like shaking because her legs aren't totally strong enough yet. And she'll just go Rawr! and just do this adorable bark. And it's like, oh, it's a ferocious puppy. It's a ferocious puppy. And we've never had puppies bark like that. We've never had puppies bark at two weeks. She's going to be the one that will try new things just because. Like uh, the one that does the wine crying. Oh, wine crime candidate. The one that you have got to block your body if you don't want her seeing what you're doing because she's going to learn how to do it, like opening the gate. The All right. The next one is Lime Green. It's a blue girl. Well, then get in front of the fan. Well, is that her leaving? You can check. <laughs> um, Let's see if this is her over oh, here. No, I got it. Got it. Got her. Ugh. Smaller puppy. Yes. She varies more on the dopey side of balance. Just kind of, you know, the, the royal princess that can't be caught doing anything. Oh. No chasing chickens. Oh, that's good. No chasing chickens. Just very, you know, she's happy just to hang out with everyone. Yes. She's going to be the perfect sofa potato. Definitely. Excuse me, couch potato. We have couch potatoes and pasture potatoes and everything else. She's definitely going to be the one that's just like always with you. Just always just hanging out with the family. Doesn't want to be overly active but always wants to be in your face never wants to be alone she's gonna be all like separation Oops. and anxiety wine like oh was. like nixie definitely you're gonna be like nixie nixon was a great little dog she loved her family but she's sometimes always she there. always there she was always by my side she was my little shadow um so if this puppy's like nixon that's gonna be a blessing she was just amazing. Okay, the next one is Black Collar Girl. She's a blue girl. Now, she's Minnie Moose. Moose, and just so everybody knows, this girl is actually, her name is Amina. She's she is ours. She's ours. We're, we're going to keep her. She's a big girl. She's comparable to the Moose Boy. She's the Minnie Moose Girl. That's why she's Minnie Moose. Mm-hmm. Sort of like Minnie Mouse. But Minnie Moose. Her AKC name is Colorado Amina's Blue Slipper Saloon. She's our baby. And we call her Mina Moose. Stephen calls her Minnie Moose. And she's very loud. I was going to say, she is she's not loud. She's a really loud one. <laughs> she's loud. She is not the even balanced puppy. She's She's going to be the one going on trail rides with me running mindlessly through all the bushes. Yes. Yeah. That is what you're going to do because I'm There's a puppy I can take with me. Something about her. Um, she's not the most balanced puppy. She's more on the aggressive uh, I've got to be he seen and heard right now and that's it side. But She's a girl that plays with all the boys. Yeah. She can keep up with all the boys. But there was something about her that just collect, just connected. So. And for the credit, I'm the one that chose her. <laughs> so, you know, I got a good eye for both horses and puppies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we own four horses. They're out in the paddock, the lower part of the property. Oop, yum, yum. So that's Amina. She's the black collar girl. She's going to stay here with us. Next is Yellow. It's a silver boy. Yellow? Yellow. That's going to be an interesting color to find. It's Lello. Found it. <laughs> Buried in between, everybody. 
I say he's one of the another one of the more just number five, just kind of best of both worlds. Very balanced, very not too much play, not too much chill. Just a number five. And number five is good. You know, these puppies, to me, to come up with so many balanced puppies, I'm not surprised. Because Willow is extremely balanced. She is an amazing girl. The boys climb in the, in the pen with her all the time. She doesn't care. There was cats in here the other day. She does not care. She has no, she's not aggressive. She just loves everybody, loves her babies. And Lakota Daddy is the same way. He is very gentle. He just, he doesn't have a mean bone either. So I think these puppies are just amazing. And the panting you hear behind me is Echo, which is actually the great grandmother of these puppies. Okay, last one is Silver. It is a blue girl. I have slobber all over my face. What's Hello. that, Cam? I said I have slobber all over my face. Whoops. Oh yes, I know you were stepped on. Well, technically you weren't. You were too. Um, I think that might be her. Oh my goodness, are you silver collar girl? Nope, this is, that's Earl. Earl. There he is. Right in front of the fan, place of honor. Oh my gosh. Hmm. She's pushy. She's, She's pushy. She's the one that's going to beat all the boys. She's the one that, that, uh, um, when you're trying to put all the puppies on a bottle, She's the one that goes underneath everybody and goes whoop and pops up through all of them and just starts drinking and steals the nipple bottle or whatever. <laughs> She's definitely very smart. That's the good word. She's smart. Smart at this young age, showing smarts. A bad sign. It's a bad sign. Mm -hmm. Not a bad sign that it's going to be a horrible, horrible dog. It a bad just... sign of she's going to get into anything and everything. And you are going to have to outsmart her. And Echo! Echo! That's Echo. X! That's enough. They found something invisible. They found something invisible. We have a deer that comes on our property, which we don't have animals normally, Echo. but this girl uh, slipped twins out on our property, and the dogs leave her alone, and she leaves them alone, but occasionally if she's here, they'll bark at her. But if they're outside, they're good. Echo's not even barking. She's just boofing. Boofing. Boofing because she can. Yes, because she's Echo. And she's a boofer. All right, then. So that is our last one. The one that is going to be the wily one. So you're going to have to outsmart that little girl. And that is Silver Collar Girl. All of the puppies camped out in front of the fan. Except for this one, that one, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our two-week-old puppy video, just to give you a brief idea on what they're like, and um, their personalities will come out and develop more as they grow, of course, and give us a better idea. But this is totally change. Possibly totally change. This is a glance into what they have the possibilities of being. But she's like, hello, I want to snack. Yeah, I'm not edible. Sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to our Willow's Puppy Week 2. And there is Moose Man hanging out. See what he'll do here. He's quite scared of the puppies. He thinks they're monsters. They tend to confuse him. Yeah. Oh, woke up in my dream, did you?
Okay. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to sign off. Go it off, is lay on the puppy. time to go feed livestock. My ponies. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.